Hello fellow Divine Feminines, how are you doing out there? I'm doing really well today. My name is Daniela Jumel. For those who may not know me, if you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Um, I am going to be looking at one or two anyway. Secrets of the Soul. Any and all decks that I use are in the description box below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on whoop, if you're watching this on TikTok, well, just go check out my YouTube and you'll see all the decks that are there. Just saying. Alright, what do we got? We got one. That's it. Yep. One concise card. It says. Mm -hmm. I look you up on social media, create fake accounts, and type your name in a search engine to see what you are up to. Has this ever happened to you? Probably. Uh, it has certainly happened to me. So, indeed. Uh, let's see, I'm going to compliment that with a message from the heart card, because I am indeed looking for more clarity there. Let's see. I hope that your process is going reasonably well for you. Um, there's been a lot of crazy, frenetic kind of energy. There's been lots of kundalini, but there's also been kind of stress and, you know, it's, I call it sexy stress because it's like that sometimes, even if it's stressful, you're just like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> it happens. This one jumped out first. Roller coaster. Highs and lows. Addictive relationship. Pleasure and pain. Hot and cold. Emotionally unavailable. Non committal. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when there is this social media kind of spying, uh, kind of indirect yet direct communication between you it is a strange place to be um, and it usually happens after a time of well stress or you know because something happened between you there was an argument maybe or or somebody said or did something that was triggering and so it caused one to pull away, perhaps, or, you know, or just, yeah, flat out get angry, you know, it, these things happen. Um, and that can cause one or, you know, either, I know this is a Divine Masculine specific deck, but I don't know. I think that we've, regardless of who we are in the dynamic, um, of course, Divine Feminine is just, and Masculine is just a name for the different polarities. It has nothing to do with gender identity or the body that you are in. There are lots and lots of Divine Feminines who happen to be men. It happens a lot. And same with Divine Masculines who are women. It happens all the time. So plug it into your scenario the best way that, you know, makes sense to you. <laughs> um, but in my experience, um, the searching and looking for your person um, just in the on the internet at large or like a, on a search engine but also on the different social media apps um, like say you follow each other you or you communicate potentially just an example you communicate on Instagram as your kind of main mode of communication if you want um, 
it's not uncommon to say open TikTok and want to go and look for potential usernames for them over there and see if they're on that platform. Um, and same with maybe Facebook. Um, I realize that's less popular now, but you know, Snapchat, all those, um, all those apps. <laughs> um, it, it, it feels like that. It's like a desperation that can kind of come over. I mean, I'm speaking from a divine feminine perspective where there's there can be a desperation energy that happens. Um, and that's when I find myself doing that sort of thing. Um, looking for him in other areas of, uh, of the internet. <laughs> uh, because because I'm worried and I want to know something that I can't discern through more direct means. Um, and yeah, the fake account thing, I, I've never done that before, but I've certainly had it done to me. Or <laughs> that sounds wrong, but you know, it's, it, it has happened before and it feels weird, I don't know, it, it confuses me all the time, and that's the same, you know, roller coaster vibe. Because um, usually when you're doing that, you're searching for them, making fake accounts, not communicating directly, you know, when you're doing that sort of thing, it's because your, your mood is kind of unsure at best, you know? Um, and you want to see without asking them how they're doing you want to see like are they actually close with their with their karmic partner are they enjoying their life are they you know and of course social media is like the worst unit of measure <laughs> for how a person is doing and feeling for real um because one thing that we know about social media is that people are full of garbage on social media they <laughs> it's a curated part of our lives that we are okay with the internet seeing that's how i think of it <laughs> nowadays it's got nothing to do with reality at all uh, i don't know how many times i've seen what looks like you know, a picture of a happy couple and believed it and then started feeling pretty miserable about my own self and my own life when that's just made up. That's not true at all. I just projected that onto it because, you know, sometimes I'm not feeling all that great about my own life, right? So um, it's the same for a divine masculine as well. They, they want to check in and sort of see what's going on um, when they feel frightened or intimidated or unsure of what to do about maybe if something transpired between you that wasn't very pleasant, you know, it, it's it's confusing and hard to come back from that, right? Especially if we're only dealing with um, text-based communication, like on, I mean, just messenger apps or however you do that. Um, usually that's how we communicate with people these days. And, um, it can be hard to believe or really understand what's going on because we don't have tone of voice and we don't have context around us. We just have a screen that we're looking at, right? Like mistakes happen all the time in communication. So, and, and in our specific case, you know, as divine feminines and dealing with divine masculines, you know, communication is 
all that much more challenging, right? Because, <laughs> you know, we want to, uh, <clears throat> we, we want to ask, you know, questions about the other's life, but at the same time, we don't want to interfere and step on any toes and especially if we've had a, an awkward period where things are just different. They're not gelling like normal. They're not easy like normal. Uh, and for some reason, there's just a little tension, reticence, you know. Um, that's when we want to go looking indirectly for information. And it's a yucky feeling. It's a yucky place to be. Uh, I don't like that place. I've been to that place. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm glad to be, you know, farther away from that place, at least right now. Ooh. Um, what else have we got? I got another card here. Wedding. Getting married. Lifelong commitment, soulmates, happiness, union, married, settling down. <laughs> Excuse me, burp. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this can mean some different things, I think, in this specific moment here. Um, it could mean, of course, they, they, they want to be with you, but they probably have other reasons that they can't, like they're married, you're married, you're both married, um, you're uh, tied down to a certain job, or they are, uh, which ties them to a specific location sometimes, um, depending on the type of career they have. Um, Settling down, that's an interesting notion um, because sometimes settling down is just settling, if you know what I mean. Um, sometimes we end up with people that we are married to um, for different reasons than we realize at the time when we're making that decision to be with them at all. Um, sometimes we're blind to what's actually informing us, especially when we're younger and we are much more in tune with the ego and, you know, that kind of separation consciousness kind of stuff. Um, that's kind of a definitely a more youthful <laughs> kind of energy, at least to me. Uh, I work with a lot of young people, so um, so I feel reasonably educated in that way. <laughs> I've met a few 21-year-olds who think they know way more than I do. <laughs> and it's, it's funny. All I can do is chuckle about it because, yeah, I know you think you know, but uh, you don't. Just saying, <laughs> you know. Um, but and anyway, we end up settling for something less than what we rightfully deserve sometimes because we're just in a different place earlier on, right? And then we get older and kind of start to see the forest for the trees and go, oh, right, that's not what I want. It's not what I meant. I didn't realize that's what I was doing. You know, that's just, it's a part of life. Uh, it's hard to not beat yourself up. But, but don't, because you got here. You're here now. And that's what matters. It's not about the vehicle you rode in on. It's, you know the fact that you got to the destination, right? Like, it's it's kind of like that. <sighs> oh my gosh. Social media. Spying on you, communicating online, catfishing, stalking, obsession. Look at that. 
So, with this original card, hmm, very interesting indeed. Very interesting. Yeah, so clearly, if you're not communicating um, for any reason, they're curious about you and they want to know maybe why or try and be a bit of a detective and figure out like why are things different now? What happened? I don't know. Um, you know, it can it can be like that sometimes and instead of just reaching out directly, I know that there's probably some of you out there that are like, why does why don't they just ask me? Well, cuz it's super scary if there's been something that you're both perceiving as negative and like you need space from each other, you know, that's fine and you should take that space. Um, but after a little while, it can feel like, well, do you still need space over there? I don't know. I can't tell and I can't really ask you. So now what do I do? Hmm right and it's that fear of reaching out and having your head bitten off you know is scary enough to stop a person from actually just acting like a normal like normal and just saying you know hi how are you <laughs> you know just starting the conversation you know in any way you know instead of just doing that we're more inclined to make pretend accounts and go and follow someone, you know, our person on Instagram or wherever, and see and try and figure out what the heck they're doing in their life. Especially if we've been blocked or um, we've blocked them or, you know, uh, there's a lot of that to try and get around and circumvent the, the block, right? <laughs> Blocking, that is so hard. I always tell people, if you feel compelled to block your person, that means something else, because obviously it's never going to turn the feelings off when you block someone, right? It's not going to stop, you know, hurting if it's because you're in a lot of pain and you're just like, I'm blocking you. Um, you know, that's because you're hurt about something within yourself and you're not as angry at them as you think you are. You're actually pretty mad at yourself usually in those situations. So I don't recommend blocking people. I know that it happens all the time because we're in the moment and we're passionate and we're just like, I am done with you, you know, like I... <laughs> I know the feeling well, I sure do, uh, but it it's just frustration and anger at yourself. So try and bear that in mind uh, as much as you can. Um, and if it, if it does feel like a good barrier between you and your person, like it'll, if there is that block in place and you can't as easily or directly communicate with them that can be a good thing because you're going to have less uh it's going to be less um tempting and more difficult uh to say perhaps something that you will not feel good that you said in the future if it's going to prevent you from doing something you'll regret, then that's probably good <laughs> to, you know, step, step back and let them deal with what they're dealing with, whatever that is. And even if you don't know what that is, doesn't matter. It's okay. It's theirs. They have to deal with it. In the meantime, you have to deal with your things. And, you know, that's why we have to get out of that just focus back over here on what matters and that is us and that's our life that matters and we have to sort all that through 
So that was a really cool reading. I'm impressed. I hope this helped in any way possible for you and that you're feeling a little bit better about things now. And um, yeah, it's really, really cool that you're here. I will see you in the next video.